Hello YouTubers. So I've brought some cocoa soil for my tarantula. Now this has been compressed. It's actually nine litres and it will multiply seven to eight times. So it says. I've never used this before. It's all it's proper stuff. It's actually for animals, obviously. It, um, yeah. So we'll see how it goes. So let's do this. What you're going to want? You're going to want three to four liters of water. A forky thing. Sharp knife, open her up, can't beat a Gerber knife can you? This has been sterilised, heat treated, that is what it looks like, if you can see that. Compressed nine litres, so I'm going to bung that in there. And I've got two litres of water here. I'm just going to turn that right in. So that's two litres in there. Right, so next, I guess, we get our forky thing. Oh, that needs to soak for at least half hour, that does. Yeah, yeah, do what it says on the instructions, Gizzy. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to get another two litres of water, because that's going to need four litres, definitely. So I've just got another two litres of water. Just it in there. Now I'm doing this now, because I'm not cleaning the tank out for a week say and I got a feeling this might just be far, a bit too wet for when I use it in the tank I it looks too wet now it's my pencils have erasers right just gonna leave that for half hour, do its thing, and then we'll see where we are. So it's been ten minutes, not half hour, but it needs me to do something, I think. So I'm gonna give it another forky thing. Try and do it so you can see. Oh, that's quite good. Mixing up concrete, you've got to get right to the corners. It's like a mini workout, you know. A mini workout on a Sunday. That's about mixed. Ooh. Let's give you a closer look. So that 
the moment that's far too wet to put in my tarantula enclosure. But what I'll do is I'll put that in the um, greenhouse, let that dry out, cover it with some sort of mesh or something. Um, yeah, you can see all the cocoa fibres. Cost just under ten pound off Amazon. I don't know what it's called. Cocosapha hummus, Trispius terrena substrate, cocoa soils. Yeah, the good old cocoa soils substrate. Is it worth it? I hear you say. That amount for a tenner. When that dries, that would probably be enough. Well, all that would probably go in one, in one re-clean of the tank. To be fair, and if you got to clean your tank every two to three weeks, say, eh? depending on mites, it's going to be quite. Quite costly in the long run. So, there's old Lottie stretching her legs, bless her cotton socks. Yeah, it's quite a big tank, you see, so it would definitely, um, that would definitely go all in there. So, that's one to think about, that is. Yep, so that definitely is one to think about. I hope you have enjoyed. Please like, share and subscribe. Gizzy Green Fingers.